Back a little space news this morning. NASA has plans to retire the International Space Station within the next decade. And it will crash back to Earth with a big splashdown. Fox 35's Amy Caulfield joins us live in studio this morning. And Amy, NASA says the ISS will crash in a remote region of the Pacific Ocean. That's right. At Point Nemo is between New Zealand and South America. It's about 1,500 nautical miles from the nearest body of land. The ISS launched into orbit in 2000, and NASA has plans to use the space station until the year 2030. It is a hub for science experiments and experts say it is crucial for human space exploration. After the space station is brought closer to Earth, three or four rocket ships will need to be used to bring it to its final resting place. They would launch from Russia or launch from the United States, dock at the International Space Station, just exactly the way they do right now. But instead of raising the orbit, they will fire the thrusters to lower the orbit and it will be gradual and it will be aimed at this South Pacific Ocean area that is completely uninhabited. The ISS weighs about 100 tons. By having it crash far away from land, it assures obviously that no humans would be impacted. NASA has chosen three companies to receive hundreds of millions of dollars to develop what will be the next generation space station. So it'll be exciting to see that. And maybe we'll get lucky and they'll put it on display, the one that crashes here at Kennedy Space Center. We'll find out, Danielle. That would be cool, Amy. Thank you.